<laughs> Both of these movies have a movie within a movie scene. WB chose to show a classic silent film, The General, which was released by United Artists. And Pixar chose to cross promote and show other Pixar movies. According to the rating, both films are suitable for kids. Two cars show their titties in cars, but it gets a G rating because kids see car titties all the time without parental supervision. Doc Hollywood is rated PG-13, which is real surprising because anytime a woman is topless in a film, it's usually rated R. This movie is about a young hotshot who gets a big break in California. On his way to California, the main character takes a long road trip, makes a detour, and gets lost after missing the interstate. In Cars, a big rig falls asleep on the road, and his negligence behind the wheel almost causes the red car to get into an accident. But thankfully, the red car survives. In Doc Hollywood, the same thing happens, and the big rig driver is falling asleep at the wheel. But in this movie, the red car gets destroyed. The main character drives through this small town and wrecks everything in sight. A cop sees the whole thing, and the car's insurance rates are about to go sky high. They get to the court, and both judges are really pissed at all the damage the red car caused. This judge sentences the doctor to community service, and this judge lets McQueen off with the warning, and it isn't until the town attorney starts hating that McQueen is sentenced to community service. The young hotshot pleads with the judge, reminding everyone in the town that he has to be in California in a week. This judge tells him it's no big deal, and if he does the job right, he'll get it done in five days. The other judge tells him it'll take 32 hours. McQueen says F that and tries to run away. He eventually runs out of gas. I'm positive Dr. Stone would have ran away too, but his car is in the shop. The townspeople don't get a lot of tourists, so when the hotshot brings his sports car to town, the mechanics beg the main character to let them work on it. The main character eventually says yes in both movies, but the main difference is Stone pays the mechanic by trading him a pig, and McQueen is so cheap he only pays the mechanic with a thank you. During the community service, both main characters bump heads with the local physician. Doc is always hard to find because he has to balance three jobs. So you're a judge, a doctor, and a racing expert. This doc only has one job, and it's hard to find him because he's lazy. You're his regular f***ing doctor, you get your fat ass out of bed, get down here and go with him. Both docs become an unofficial mentor and give the main character advice on how to do their job. Stone does what the doctor tells him to right away, and it works because the little boy could have died if Stone didn't follow the doctor's orders. McQueen waits until the end of the movie to follow the doctor's orders and it doesn't work because he ends up finishing last in the race. One day, the main character goes in Doc's office and sees pictures of all his defining moments from the past. Doc says these moments are priceless, but he trade them for gold. I wouldn't trade any of them for gold. Well, maybe gold or cash money. This Doc's moments are defined by gold and he says it's nothing but an empty cup. All I see is a bunch of empty cups. Later on in the movie, the young hotshot gets extremely bored. The townspeople are generic, and he gets sick and tired of them super fast. There's the country Bama who can't read. It's from my sister. We don't read. The Queen Anne Sally, park beneath the tree. The sassy black woman and the horny old lady. I want to get a look at that sexy hot rod. Want a cocktail? Oh, don't worry. Only one of them horny. I'm not telling you which one. Radiator Springs has tourism problems, so when people visit, they annoy them to get them to spend money. Grady has medical problems, so when people visit, they annoy them by spending money on them. My salary is $27,000 per annum and plus housing. 35,000. Also, the people in the town are enablers. These folks try to get the main character drunk. These folks try to get the main character high. This organic fuel is great. Why haven't I heard about it before? It's a conspiracy, man. To make time go by faster, he starts dreaming. McQueen dreams he gets a fat endorsement deal from Dynaco. His dream never comes true because at the end, he declines Dynaco's offer. Dr. Stone dreams he saw Lou naked, and his dream comes true when he sees her naked in the very next scene. The big city character keeps flirting with the small town girl, but she doesn't fall for any of his lines. Sally is single and plays hard to get in cars, and in Doc Hollywood, it's complicated, but Lou has a boyfriend. Lou is going to law school to become an attorney one day, while Sally is already graduated from law school and is an attorney. The lovebirds have more chemistry than a junior in high school. They've both spent time in the big city. Sally used to be a rich big city lawyer and downgraded to a life in Radiator Springs, and Lou used to be a broke college student and upgraded to a life in Grady, South Carolina. After heartfelt moments like this, the two become close Closer. They take a romantic scenic route trip out to the countryside and learn about each other some more. That same day, Sally turns around and the cracker her butt is showing and McQueen sees it and compliments her on her waistline tattoo. Stone respects the hell out of Lou and when she pulls her pants down, Stone looks the other way because that's somebody's mama. Things get intense in Doc Hollywood when the old doctor has a near-death experience. Doc and Cars had a near-death experience too, but it was during his younger years. The car gets a brand new paint job and new parts or whatever. It's time for McQueen to leave for LA when he's 
done with his community service and the road is paved. The only reason it's time for Stone to leave for LA is the judge had a change of heart and reduced his community service hours. You're free to go whenever you want. Before the young hotshot leaves for the big city, there's a small town celebration. The main character is dancing with someone he has no interest in, but leaves her behind to go and dance with the woman he's in love with. The music starts slowing down and uh, Oh, they start dancing cheek to cheek just like when Harry met Sally. For a moment, you start to think the main character might give a middle finger to the big city and choose love over money. Both doctors in both movies force him to go to California. The doctor in this movie made a call to LA and told somebody where the main character's been all this time, but he was trying to help. Have been here at all. If it hadn't been for a call I got from Dr. Reyes Hogue. The doctor in this movie made a call to LA and told somebody where the main character's been all this time, but he was trying to hate. Thanks for the call. It's time for goodbyes and a crowd develops and it sucks because McQueen has to leave without saying goodbye. A crowd develops in Doc Hollywood and it's great because it gives Dr. Stone a chance to say goodbye to everyone. In both movies, the main character goes to LA and he's sad because he misses everybody. McQueen feels much better when the whole town drives west to visit him and Stone feels like a loser because only two people drove west to visit him. He realizes his lover's panties are greater than or equal to all the fame and money in California so he decides to move back to the small town to be with the woman he loves. Dr. Stone quits his job and takes a huge pay cut to move to Grady. McQueen kept his job and is opening his headquarters in Radiator Springs. At the very end of the movie, the last shots have the credits going up on the right of the screen and a little piggy on the left of the screen. Actually, on second thought, that's exactly the same, so don't even count that last one. And those are 24 reasons these movies are different, so truth or dare, like and share, leave a comment under there. If you don't, that's not fair. This thing took a week to prepare. But I'm not a rapper though. <gasps> Elevator music I've ever heard.